Hello everyone, today is Saturday, uh, March the 26th, around 3 p.m. New York time. I'm sorry this week it, it has taken longer to do the weekend of day. It's because, guys, many things have developed for the last 48 hours in this market. I mean, not 48, 24 hours that have us taking longer to go over the long period charts as you know guys we always do that on the weekend is checking the daily and the weekly chart because those are the real true uh, the short time charge they are not good so let's start with the US dollar index and you guys I wish you guys understand and com uh, understand this uh, we issue a warning on the forex overview about the loan the long positions on the US dollar we don't feel comfortable to I'm sorry the short position in the US dollar we don't be we don't feel comfortable as a right now to be any short position on the dollar and I'm gonna spread to you guys why uh, and I wish you guys all understand where we're coming from as you guys know we are very very uh, always concerned about the relationship that happens between the relationship that happened between the feeble levels and the weak uh, the Elliott wave principle ideally in the Elliott wave principle I want you guys to understand this wave 2 is going to retrace around the 61 50 or 76 4 percent of wave 1 wave 3 is gonna be 1.618 ideally remember ideally sometimes extended to the 2618 but ideally it's 1.618 of the extension of wave 1 and wave 5 ideally is the same size of wave 1 or can be 1.618 the retracement of wave 4 in other words right here this side right here is going to retrace right here once the, the distance from here to here is 1.618 the distance right here so technically speaking that's the ideal scenario with uh, the Elio wave principle we believe that uh, something happened like I say in the last 24 hours that show I mean, the market is starting to show the face that the U.S. dollar baron is in place. If you guys remember, for the last two weeks, uh, we were calling, and if we don't have time, guys, today, I promise you, and we're going to do two videos, because today is a very important video, and I want you guys, as the members, and we take good price. I mean, we're proud that you guys do business with us and we don't want you guys to be on the wrong side of the market a week like this uh, idea uh, about two weeks ago we were calling the 74 15 area as a possible battle in the US dollar alright the thing is when you do a forecast guys it's very hard to be right all the time last week we got huge huge uh, I say approval rating if we can put it in that way we were right about the 90 percent 92 percent exactly on all the charts what I mean with that is if we say right here that it's gonna go higher that the market goes higher which is is, is pretty good uh, so technically and uh, I see things right here that is telling me that the, this is a bottom. We went and wait a little bit for the 74.15, for the 75.15, because we got kind of confused with the euro. But I can prove you guys this. Look at this, guys. This is the proposal wave one. This is A, a flat B, and wave C. And then, if you take a feeble from here, here the extension to the pit, this is the wave three. A, B, C, 4, you take the extension from here to here, 1, 6, 1, 8 right here, right here 
is the 1618. So I see this as 1, 2, 3, 4, and a 5. So from here, this should start going higher. Now, there is two scenarios. If this is the end of way Z, the US dollar is gonna pass, it's gonna trade minimum around 90 something, even around 105. Now, let's go about this area. From here to here, you see five ways, right? I'm gonna show you guys this, and you guys gonna get wow. One, two. If you take the extension of one, two right here, look guys. Way three to the six one eight. No one paid about no one single paid exactly. Way four to the thirty eight or two from here, and then the last cycle loose guy. One, two, three, three, four right here, and a five. If you take the extension right here, if you take the extension right here, look guys, to the pit the bottom now this can be count if this is in the daily guys this can be count also in a this can be count as a lead ending diagonal right there so if that's the case guys this is all we need we need this right here this line to be break broken and expecting choppiness like a way one the good buying of the US dollar won't happen soon. It's gonna take about 10 days according to the FIBO times, but eventually it's gonna take place during the month of April. The month of April is gonna be the month from for the US dollar. Do not doubt about it. I believe uh, that's what's gonna take a place. So what I think is that we should wait at least we should wait at least a couple of days to get more clarification on this move. Now let's go to the Euro index. The Euro index, if you look here, last week on the seminar we were calling that we need one more high. He already did the one more high. So you can count one, two, three, four and a five now that you get a relative new high to the 1618 which is the equal legs totally possible but but you gotta be careful guys because this is a terminal move and nothing worse than being in the wrong side of the market at the end of the cycle now let's go now to the individual pairs let's start with the euro I know it's popular the euro right here what is showing is that you can count it so far what you have from the top is no even three ways you got one a b c this is the the village count this can be count also as a double zigzag most of the time a double zigzag can be count as five ways in some ways now you can count as a one a b c two three four at the ending diagonal here now if you work on the feebles it goes like this almost to the six one a here and right here remember it one three collects now this is a three way no doubt about it remember guys on Thursday night I want to close the position I didn't want to close it completely because right here we got an entry three picks from the low but I was tempting to close the position I left the 4115 because of I say okay there is a change that is a wave two and it's gonna rebound high I don't want to miss the trade in that way but I knew that it's gonna go down on Thursday night now this move right here is a this is the village count which is called the proposal wave uh, this is the beginning of wave 3 and he can do it like this 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 the, the selling, the strong selling already passed 3, 4 and I'm expecting this to happen now this move right here I'm sorry this is the bullish count this move right here 
is when the equal legs is going to take place. This is the trend line that I'm going to show you guys in the four hour chart that comes from the weekly and the daily charts. That's the trend line on the eight hour chart. The trend line that is the trade below this trend line over. Start selling the euro because it's going to drop like a bomb. Now, what we're looking at the test of 140.19 and the text of 139.88 which is that 61a of the last leg if it's an ending diagonal that's going to be the, the area if it's a triangle also can be right here i'm going to show you that in the four hour so this is the short term a scenario no either the bullish or the village i can, you can take it either way because it can be doing a nest and complete five and return from here and start selling it can be a triangle let me go then I'm sorry for the for the four hour this is the four hour this these are the three scenarios that we see in the euro we go like a go from this level rebounds in a type of triangle way four possible boom boom and the trust it can go from this area and do like an ending diagonal some type of movement right there and complete it or can be like that or it can go the village one that goes onto this area and retreat in three this is the huge from here is the huge sell out now at this stage my best guess i don't see the euro going that high the most i see the euro going is around 143 if the top is not in place we should know guys by monday afternoon possible unless it become a trap we should know in the next 48 hours what the next big move is gonna be guarantee you that all right that's the euro guy now let's see the pound the pound guys if you look on the weekly on the daily this being strong now the still a chance that is a triangle and this is like this and then this is wave e of the triangle triangle usually wave e and around the 76 74 61 a area so and this and cannot discounting the triangle and going more like this is wave one of like this is wave one of uh wave wave d on the triangle or wave a and it's gonna get back in three before the big US dollar move. Another one, this is the Aussie. We were, I can tell you that guys, the only one that when the Aussie dropped right here, we knew that that was, that was a fake and that was a beer trap and the Aussie is gonna do this. The Aussie should top around 123.6, 102592 as an extension. That should be the top of the Aussie. So what is gonna what the house is gonna do after the top drop, drop. What that means U.S. dollar is gonna get strong. Now let's see the U.S. dollar on the weekly chart. No, this is the euro pound. Look, the euro pound is testing the trend line from the highs. It's, ab it's, it's in the area, and we change the count on the weekly on the daily a little bit, having the euro pound being in a wave B triangle. But from here. It looks like it almost complete allowing one more high to end now if we look on the euro index let's back to the euro index in the week in the daily and the hourly chart also looks completed look one two three four and a five and this can be guys the beginning of a nest or this can be the last move that we're missing when he did we see like a one two three four and then if that's the case it's gonna return from around this area and finish something like this and complete wave five when wave c was at that uh, right here i'm sorry there is a diagonal that he took from here and then we see it is a diagonal and then it's gonna test here here boom and it drop all I say guys there is a warning we believe that we are pretty close 
to the huge move in the US dollar. That's all I can say, guys. Get back to you tomorrow. I'm going to send you the link from the seminar at 3 p.m. I, I, I recommend to all you guys to be present. I know that most of you guys have open position, but I don't want you guys to lose money. I mean, we I don't have no position opening. We're going to cancel the, Euro, the, the pound. I don't like the trades in the contra trend. So I'm going to cancel everything against the dollar and then wait. And April is going to be a good month, guys. Guarantee you that. Thanks.